Welcome back to our channel. Today we are in a town that's rich in history and lots of historical murals, art murals. So uh, it's going to be really fun. So come along and explore with us. We have lots to see and to show you. Uh, we have a map and history. It's going to be really cool. This is the first one, guys. We're going to tell you the history about it. It's called Marching Towards the Millennium. It was painted by Pierre Hardy in 2000 as the PHM Millennium Project. Um, so this is Pembroke's longest mural at 264 feet. And it was designed to illustrate all the various people that have lived and worked and contributed to Pembroke's development. And it goes all the way over here. Get closer for you guys. So pretty. So basically what it is, like it starts out like, um, like this is like at the start of the mural, it's like, back then in time and then slowly progresses throughout time. It's cool. Nice. Over here it would be like older and stuff and over there it would be like newer, like newer generation. It's I'm really kidding. long guys. Isn't that cool? It's the marching band. show you all the way down no, the parts that we didn't see the parts that we didn't see I like the fire truck and the nuns the nuns is pretty cool too it's really cool I like the clown up there too goes all the way down. It's a creepy clown. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Oh. I should have brought my walking stick. a cougar right there. That's cool. Oh, there's the clown up there. So this is like 1950 here. Oh yeah? Yep. And you're about to get into like the 1960s right here. Like the 1960s era. Oh, that wind feels great. I'll slow it down so you guys can see. It's the longest mural in Pembroke? Yep. Wow. 264 feet. I like the Canadian flag. This is the 70s? Yeah. My era. I was born in 1974. 
islands are pretty. Got old fashioned bicycle. So it just trans uh, changes within Transform. transforms into different years. Cool guys. This is the 1990s right here. And the best year of all 2000. <laughs> Hang on, we're not there yet. Oh, that's cool. I like that. The Millennium! Isn't that cool, guys? This tree in my way. There we go. the biggest mural in Canada. I want to show you the rock though. If you saw my videos, you know I love rocks, right? This is a memorial rock. See that? It's cool, guys. The base is the Pembroke Hydro mural painted by the local art teacher Randy Chester in 1990. I'm stand back. It says on the left are Queen Victoria and Prime Minister jo Sir John A. Macdonald rulers in 1884. In the middle is a picture of the first electric generating plant in Canada. And on the right is Mayor W.H. Moffat, the mayor of Pembroke in 1884, and Debbie B. McAllister, founder of Pembroke Electric Light. That's cool guys. Canada's first commercial electric lighting plant, 1884. If you saw my videos, you know that I love trains, right? Well, I found you the most beautiful train mural. Wow, check this out guys. We have to cross the street though. Check this out, you ready? That out, guys. So it's called the Grand Trunk Union Station, painted by Robin Burgess in 1996. It's up so high, though. I'm not going to be able to get it. Check that out, man. Maybe if I stand back, guys. I'll do the bottom first. I think I'm getting it, most of it, pretty well. I'm trying to get the train itself. Maybe this angle might do it. Okay, 
I'm seeing it. I hope you're seeing it. It's so pretty. Seeing it, guys. The balance is I'm looking up. Just gonna take a photo anyways, if you're not getting all of it. Like seeing it all. She's gonna take a photo. to our next location see you when we get there hope you're having fun it's like it's a little treasure hunt <laughs> another one for you it's really beautiful and the history is good too Check this one's called the ice house and it's painted by pierre hardy again uh, and it was painted in 1991. come closer Basically, every year snow is cleared from the Ottawa River to allow the ice to freeze to three meters thick. And this, so this mural shows men digging the snow. And this one says, can you see the hidden swallow in this mural? Oh, the men digging the snow is way up there. Oh, wow. This mural, it tells you, uh, I found the hidden swallow right there. Right there, guys. I love the history in this town. Nice. All right, off to our next location. See you when we get there. These are all the mayors of Pembroke, guys. This mural is called the Mayors of Pembroke, a portrait gallery, 1877-2014. Wow, that's a lot of mares. All the way up. Uh, it was painted by Marilyn Safari in 2012. Oh yeah? And she was assisted by Shauna Torgerson. Torgerson. Wow. This is all the mares that Pembroke has had in the last uh, 160 years, 50 years. Holy. That's crazy. We found another one, guys. This mural called Marguerite de Uville and her mission. And the artist is Pierre Hardy, and he painted it in 1992. So basically this mural tells a story about a woman who lived through a difficult marriage and suffered the deaths of four children and was widowed at 20 years, 28 years old and raised two sons as a single mother. In 1737, Marguerite and four women joined together to provide care for the poor, sick, and abandoned in the Montreal neighborhood. It goes up they focused hospital care for all men, women, and children, whatever their background or culture, First Nation, English, and French. And she founded the Order of Sisters of Charity in Montreal. Wow. I like the horse. I like that. Love this native. Look at the native man, you guys. It's so beautiful. Love his hair. Oh wow! Goes all the way down. Can't get.
get a back view of it. Isn't that cool? And there's more. Religious journal, that's pretty. Show you that. Wow, this is beautiful. I must say, Pembroke, like their murals are like outstanding. Compared to the other murals we filmed in, in our other art videos, these murals beat it. They're so beautiful. That's nice, guys. This one's they call the Timber Raft and was painted by Pierre Hardy in 2004. So it's a tribute to the era of the Timber Raft on the Ottawa River circa 1800s. Any other information? Another one, guys. So this mural is called The Great Fire of 1918, and it was painted by David Yeatman in 1993. So it illustrates the old steam pumper. So uh, artists will say artists will often paint themselves into the mural. So I'm guessing that the artist David Yeatman is somewhere in this mural. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Beautiful. So there was a fire? Yeah, at the end of World War One in 1918, the munitions factory blew up. Holy guys, the factory blew up and there was a huge fire. Holy. And it says that this mural has a connection to the town smithy and Thomas Pink murals too. So I'm not sure if we're going to check those out, but if we do, then this mural is connected to those two. Yeah, we are. Oh, that's sad. Some people must have lost a l their lives when this factory blew up. Sorry guys, there's a car's like in front of the mural, so if my camera's crooked, it's not my fault. I'm squeezing in a really small area, tight area right now to film this. So. Right. This is like a treasure hunt. We have a map and it tells you where all the murals are in the cities. It's pretty cool. It's like a treasure hunt. Hope you're liking this video. You know, we need more subscribers, so please subscribe, support our channel. We, we, we really appreciate it, guys. Come on. Subscribe, like, share, okay? This mural is called the Old Time Fiddlin' and Step Dancing. It was painted in 1995 by John Ellenberger as a significant part of the 20th anniversary celebrations. 
beautiful. The sun's in my eyes. I hope I'm getting this. Sage championships are held each year in Pembroke over the Labor Day weekend. Says this mural is a lively and jubilant illustration of fiddling and step dancing past and present. Nice. It's really nice. Oh, oh my. Up to the next location, guys. See you there. This was the S.J. Webb Bakery, painted by Pierre Hardy in 1991. It celebrates Pembroke's small businesses. Mrs. Webb, shown in the frame, ran the bakery, a store, and delivery service, as well as raising a large family of nine children by herself after her husband died at a young age. There's another one here too, guys. Blacksmith. This one's called the Town Smithy, and it was painted by John Ellen Berger in 1994. So this one is connected to the uh, Great Fire of 1818, I think. The Adam Railroad, isn't it? Oh, yeah. We're gonna show you another one. It's really cool, guys. It's really, really cool. I guess we'll go this way. This town is full of history. It's really awesome. Okay, check this out, guys. So this mural is called the Steamboat, and it was painted in 1995 by Carol Marwa. Mar 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 it's beautiful. It's 15 feet high and 69 feet long. Follow me when you're saying it to the camera. So basically, Pembroke has a rich history of boats on both the Ottawa and Muscat rivers. Wow. That's cool. I love the detail, guys. I love boats, too. I love the detail. And it goes around, eh? What? Yeah. Yeah, I think I read there's three panels. Well, we're gonna have to go and find it. I think it goes all the way around, guys. We'll have to go find it, okay? So cool! Beautiful day. It was supposed to rain and it's not. I'm so happy. Goes around. Oh yeah, no sun. So you made out. Look at that. Goes way up. Can't really look too much up because of my vertigo. I'll try my best to show you way up. I'm gonna stand a bit. Away. This cool guys. There's a clock there. I'm gonna move back again so you guys can get a good view. Wow, it's pretty. Oh, I like the guy with the pipe.
X videos Pembroke Street Lights. Goes all the way up. It was painted by Pierre Hardy in 1991. Follow me. So to the left of the mural are employees of the Pembroke Hydro. Let's start over here then. Yeah, so those are all the Pembroke Hydro employees in 1991. Oh yeah? So W.B. McAllister, the founder of Commercial Electricity, is shown shedding a tear as Pembroke Hydro workers update his original style of lights. Oh, I'm guessing wow. that's him right there. I'm guessing he's the one with the cane. Oh, okay. He <laughs> says the artist is waiting to buy because it was the last mural he painted that summer. Oh, wow. Oh, right there. <laughs> I'm guessing that's the artist. Oh, hang on, guys. So I think that's the only person waving in this mural, so that must be the artist. <laughs> the artist. This was what? The last mural? Yeah, he painted this summer, yeah. In 1991. That must be Pierre Hardy. <laughs> and it says, can you find the hidden swallow in this mural? Which is a bird. Okay, guys, we've got to try and find the hidden swallow. Can you find it? I can't find it. You probably would have been able to, but now it's kind of like that uh, one. Mm -hmm. If you guys see it, leave a comment if you can find the hidden swallow. Hidden swallow. Where would that be? That kind of looks like it right here. Oh, it's, uh, it's a big bird. It's not a big bird, but it's like a bird. I don't think so. No. Huh. You don't see it? I don't see it, but if you guys at home see it, let us know. So this mural is called Live in Our Community Dreams, and it's painted by John Allen Ber Berger in Berger. Sorry, there's a bug on me. In <laughs> 2010. So it says circa 1950, a group of parents in Pembroke and Petawawa with children who had learning disabilities went against the established mindset of post war North America. They believed their sons and daughters should have every opportunity to learn, live, and grow within their own community. This mural pays tribute to the founding members illustrated here and also speaks to the future of community living and family involvement. Members of community living who benefit from the dedication of 50 plus years are shown here participating in various activities, jobs, and events that take place in our own community. Nice. The goal is that all persons live in a state of dignity, share in all elements of living in the community, and have the opportunity to participate effectively. That's beautiful. That's a really nice meaning towards this mural. Beautiful. Well, this is the end of our video, guys. I hope you really liked it. It was really fun exploring this town. There was a lot of rich history, historical murals. It was really, really cool. Big shout out to our subscribers. Thank you so much for supporting our channel. We highly appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. We need at least a thousand sus <laughs> subscribers. <laughs> we have a long way to go, but still, you know, help support our channel. Yeah. Um, Stay safe, be healthy. Get out there and explore. Get out there and explore. You'll never know what you can find, like I always say, right? Yep. See you next video, guys. It's a dog life. Look at that. Eyes closed, mouth flopping in the wind. <laughs>